All right, so I'm gonna call it out like how I've been calling it out. So tonight was the finale of The Voice Kids Philippines season three performance wise because tomorrow, which is my birthday, is the result of who wins the final trophy. So I'm gonna just keep it real with all of y'all around the world, Philippines, United States, China, Japan, India, Brazil, whatever the hell country you live in, I'm gonna just keep it 100. Justin deserves this. Sorry about it, he deserves to win, y'all. Um, that performance tonight that he sang, that he delivered, that he gave his all on, real shit. Like, oh my goodness, when he sang Lose Yourself and Monsters by Eminem, like, jaw-dropping. Jaw-dropping. And then when he sang Stitches with Coach Bamboo, that was like ice cream on top of the cake. Like, in all honesty, I feel like, and I know I've been vocal about him winning and keep, please, 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 please keep voting for him, y'all. But I know I've been vocal about him winning and he needs the support and the love and, you know, just the, the support, I mean, the, <laughs> the amazingness that he deserves. Like, this kid has what it takes to win. And I feel like of the three finalists left, he is the most diverse because he's saying from rock to um, soulful, to R&B, to rapping, like, not a lot of kids on the Boys Kids Philippines history have ever rapped, and he did that today, and that is just fucking genius, I'm sorry, excuse my language, but this kid deserves to win, otherwise I'm about to hurt somebody, I mean, okay, don't get it twisted, like, yeah, I've been vocal with Antonin and Joshua, like, you know what, may the baddest kid win, but I'm sorry, Justin is the baddest kid to win, like, I feel like in terms of diversity and versatility, he has what it takes. Um, and I feel like in terms of the other two winners before, Ella and um, Laika, amazing singers, love them, just well-rounded kids, super, super humble, super, super sweet. But I feel like their styles have been done before. Like, I feel like Antoinette and Joshua are very emotional, hitting the high note, you know, type of artists. But... I feel like with Justin, he offers something different. And, like, for him to win would just be an amazing story because, like I said before, last year he auditioned, did not make it. This year he makes it, makes top three, and possibly wins. That's a great, like, storyline to work with and, like, a great journey to have. And possibly a journey or a story for Ma'ala'ala Mukaya or MMK. So it's like, you know, this kid has chops. This kid deserves this. And... Like I said, you know, please keep voting. I know voting ends, like, what, midnight in the Philippines or some shit, but it's just like, y'all, <laughs> tomorrow's my birthday, and if Justin John Alva could win, that would be the best birthday gift I've gotten in a long time, y'all. And I don't live in the Philippines, so I can't vote, but again, if Antoinette or Joshua, Joshua were to win, cool. I mean, they deserve it just as much as Justin, but in all honesty, I just feel like Justin wants it most. I mean, I feel like, yeah... Antoinette and Joshua have stories about, you know, their their struggles and stuff, but I mean, so did Ella, so did Laika. We've heard their like we've heard stories like that. And I mean, as sad as that is, like, it sucks. It really does suck to live like that, and no one should ever go through that. But it's just like I feel like Justin has the most BAM to win. That's how I honestly feel about it, y'all. So if your team Josh <laughs> sorry, if your team Justin John Alva, thumbs up. And you know what? Tomorrow's the results. Congratulations to the winner. I'm going to be asleep when they announce it, but um, I'm going to just keep y'all posted tomorrow on who wins and how I feel about it. But I mean, all three are deserving. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say it right now before anyone gets mad. All three are deserving. But I feel like in terms of versatility and like showing different styles of music, Justin has what it takes to win. And a boy hasn't won yet, so I would love it for for it to be Justin. But if it's Joshua, cool. If it's Antoinette, cool, because they both deserve it. But for me, in terms of the final performance, Justin hit it out the park. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just keeping 100 with all of y'all. Justin served it. So if you like it, you like it. If you don't, sorry about it. And we will just find out tomorrow who wins. So let's hope it's Justin. Hashtag Justin for the win. Justin John Alva. Team Justin. Camp Kawaiian. Let's hope so. If not, cool. Congratulations to the winner, and I know all three are going to have successful futures, and that's all that matters, so...